all beginners in the hood is proper sinners But something must have got in us Cause all of us learn the sinners Now some resting in peace and some are sitting in San Quentin Others such as myself are trying to carry on tradition Keeping the Really don't even identify with black as strong as we used to We say peace God But we're not identifying ourselves as black As if some, it's some type of negative thing to say black To say a law Or to say even say that we 5% in Islam not 5% of Islam, but 5%ers in Islam. That's key here, because at this point, guys, uh, when I did a YouTube video, a lot of people took issue with that. They kept saying that, who are you talking to, God? Be more specific. Um, God, do you address these things with the brothers in the street? Do you address these things as you see them? Well, if we're true 5%ers, of course we address it in the street. I fear no man but Allah at all. So therefore, if I know my lessons, I know my history, I understand how we put things together to, to unify and, and deal with each other on a positive level, and also how we handle those who are after us. So you don't think that because you see me in a suit, and you don't see me in maybe a crown, or you don't see me in some jeans and some Tims, or you might not see me walking down 125th Street today because I'm in outside of Atlanta, nothing sweet because God didn't raise no sissies. The father, at any point in time, walked and went everywhere. He went into the holes of apartment buildings. He went into the slum of the slums, not just to hang out, but he went in those places to do what? Build. That's why the 5% is so large now. And that's why I'm coming out right now and simply saying, if we are 5 percenters, we understand the lessons that the father gave us to be our foundation, we got one or two things we can do. We can build save the babies, advance the black folks in America and all over the planet Earth, since the Earth is the home of Islam, it's not the home of the Arab culture, it's not the home of New York, it's not the home of a guy who might be from California or Nevada, it's the home of Islam. Islam is far more than something that somebody thought about at home at night. Islam might have been taken and used elsewhere, but that don't make it right. I could put on a flag of a moor and practice something completely outside of the Moors. I put on the flag of Islam because I am Islam. I self lord and master. If I say I, that's representing me. When I apply Islam, I'm showing and proving through my ways and actions on a daily basis. When you see a God walking down the street anywhere, because I don't care if you're in the South, North, East, or West, the bottom line is if he doesn't open his mouth and he's showing and proving that the black man is God, he's living out Islam. When the gods were prevalent, I'm talking about after the father returned to the essence, I'm talking about in the early 80s when the gods were doing nothing but building. You knew those gods was practicing Islam. You know why? Because nothing was sweet. When Islam was removed from the gods, everything got sweet. Now we get offended about everything. Point in time. Some of you have called. There's no question I know my lessons. You've identified that. In fact, some of you brothers who call me don't know your lessons. So when you test me on my lessons, make sure you know yours. Otherwise, the cold conversation is over. Don't call me cursing. Don't call me unless you want to deal with the science. See, because we can argue all day. That's a waste of my time. I got babies to save. I got lessons to manifest. I got show and improvement to do. Yes, sir. I'm here at this black conference. I don't have to wear a fatigue suit. I could have put on jeans. I could have put on a whole bunch of things. I'm a civilized man, so I know how to walk, talk, and live mathematics. I can put on whatever I want and be civilized. See, that's the key here. You think because a brother goes to college, educates himself to, for the uplift of the black people, that he's some kind of sucker, or he's not really a god because he's dressed in a suit. He's some kind of bean soup, bean pie eating Muslim who can't stand on his on his square and build. Well, I'm gonna tell you like this, God. That now is the quality degree in the one to forty. I see Muslim in there. If you have an issue with self-justice saying he's Muslim, you come see me only if you say the 120 lessons is your foundation, only if you recognize yourself as a 5%, only if you can build. Otherwise, there's no need to call me unless you want to talk about sports or whatever. But if you, if you don't believe in this teachings and you say you're not a 5%, me and you or whoever, we have no problems. If you have an issue because you claim, you claim that we ain't Muslims or you're not Muslims, maybe you're not. That's not my issue. If you say you're not Muslim, peace. 
I'll call you whatever you want, you want me to call you. But I tell you one thing, you're not gonna say because I'm Muslim, because I acknowledge that knowledge required a degree and I draw it up to say, well look, Allah of course is a righteous Muslim and I say the black man is God and there is no mystery God. Y'all brothers wanna simply say that we follow the Arab culture and we don't acknowledge the science that we believe, we bang our heads on a rug and we don't believe in uh, 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 God is man, we believe in a mystery God. The same exact lessons you're using that says the black man is God, dealing with the black man being God in a knowledge degree in the student enrollment, dealing with the black man being God in a knowledge degree in the 1 to 40. How many times do you see the black man being God in those lessons versus how many times you see Muslim in those lessons? Are you telling me that those are just Muslim lessons? But at the same time, they say the black man is God who is the law, and at the same time, we're wrong for saying that? But you can simply say, Peace to a God who you know is selling drugs to a brother and is killing him and has destroyed his family, has strung out his wife, and has his children with no food, clothing, or shelter in the street. But you still say, peace to those gods. But you can't simply say, peace to a God who draws up the knowledge required degree differently than you. And you know he's not killing babies. You know he's not killing you. You know he will not turn your wisdom up. But you got an issue with me. That's where you want to draw the line. What I'm saying to you right now, God is any of the gods. You could tell me you are not a member of the nation of gods and earth. My response to you would be, I'm a lost five percenter. I understand what my role is in this day and time and age. I understand that you can sit on a computer because I'm going to address these e-gods, but I understand you can sit on a computer, type up, so and hide behind not your righteous name, but some crazy name that nobody can hold you accountable for your words. Because I'm not afraid to go anywhere. Because I'm a builder. If you feel you need to be aggressive, you feel you need to step to me because you want to build as many people have, <coughs> the bottom line is, after that build, you're going to walk away one, two things. The God can build. Or, I see you, God. I don't agree with you. But I see you, God. Then I'm going to say, I'm glad you see me like that. But the black man is God. We all are God. It's up to us to strive for the manifestation of that as being God. And I will always be self-justice Allah because I don't subscribe to those brothers and sisters who claim that Allah is not of the black people. I don't subscribe to the, to the, the you all's philosophy that Islam is not part of our culture. It's not our culture. I don't subscribe to that. I do. I'm a five percenter. So you can now simply say, well, we don't got to worry about self-justice anymore because he's saying he don't care if you call him a nation of gods of earth or whatever. You can call me whatever you want, but you will call me self-justice God of law. You will call me the brother who's constantly teaching. You will say, this brother is in New York, this brother is in New Jersey, this brother is in Delaware, Cali, Michigan, Atlanta, the city of Atlanta, which is in Georgia. He will be in Florida. He will be everywhere because the home of Islam it's the planet Earth. So therefore, anything you have to say, I'm what you could address me in the physical. We can build, have a beautiful build. Uh, we, you could call, whatever. The number is it's been online forever. I don't need to keep repeating it. But if those little threats that you all keep putting out for some ridiculous reason, while the white man has our women wearing the most ridiculous clothes on the planet, and you feel not threatened by that at all. And a brother called and asked me what I meant specifically about the skinny jeans gods. Look around you. You worried about Muslim? You're so scared of the term Muslim. I'm coming to you in peace and you're scared of the term Muslim. <laughs> well, let's talk about the term Muslim. <coughs> and why it scares people so much. Well, it scares people so much because they don't understand it. They're so used to being drawn up and caught up in the mystery God things that they don't understand what's happening. And it's very, very unfortunate. The gods that I deal with, whether they're in the Elanti, whether they're in New York or whatever else on the planet, I don't know anybody that I deal with that deals with a mystery God. The skinny jean gods are those who keep submitting to the foolishness that the grafted has given them. Keep submitting to whatever somebody feeds them in a negative. You're wearing skinny jeans because the grafted has is, is attempting and is working, obviously, because he's blurring the line between man and woman. 
You walk up. And the wise won't cease. The gods don't stop until it's time to say peace. peace.